How's it going, everybody? I wanted to film a quick wrap-up for Cisco Live 2024. I didn't have a chance to do one um, before because of moving hotels. Uh, I'm still in Vegas. I'll be here till um, next week. But I um, wanted to film a quick recap. So there's a couple of big takeaways from Cisco Live that I've got, and a lot of people have already um, covered this, so... I'm probably going to reiterate something that you've already have already seen. Um, number one, AI was huge in the world of solutions. They had what felt like a dedicated corner to the world of solutions for it, um, which I mean, it's, it's all good. I mean, I'm not going to hate on it. Um, I definitely think there is a, uh, a place for it. Um, where exactly that's going to fit in, I, I think has yet to be seen. Um, there are some cool things that I saw. Um, there were, uh, I guess you could call them breakout sessions, but they weren't like upstairs, um, like some of the normal sessions were. They were in the world of solutions. And I sat for one in, on the last day on Thursday, and it was covering Cisco's new hyperfabric, which is, I thought was kind of interesting when they were describing it, which essentially means that they're going to be taking the Meraki methodology for doing networking, so the, the easy button networking. And they're gonna combine that with um, a new platform that's gonna be deployed in the cloud, specifically in AWS. And it's going to be the, uh, the hyperfabric. And the idea behind this is you deploy your infrastructure and it basically allows it to call home and deploy a VXLAN eVPN fabric automatically. So think Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller, but instead of you managing it on-prem through a virtual machine or through a three-node uh, physical cluster, the NDFC capability now sits up in uh, the cloud. So it sounds cool. It hasn't started shipping yet based off the guys that were talking and sometime uh, either end of 2024 or beginning of 2025. It sounds cool. It sounds cool. Um, but then again, I'm also not a big, big person on hype either. I'm like, I want to see it in action and things like that before I um, go and say we got to go deploy this. Uh, another thing is I went. I sat through a Nexus dashboard fabric controller uh, multi-site deployment, and uh, I'm gonna have to go rewatch the breakout session again and look at the slides as the speaker is going over it but it sounds pretty straightforward and how to get it working so I'll have to see about doing that um, and the one there's one thing that the speaker mentioned about how um, if you have virtual NDFCs deployed they now support a one NDFC server uh, with up to 50 switches I think is what the numbers were. I don't have my laptop in front of me, but I took notes on it. So, kind of a nice feature now because it, before it was a um, three node cluster and then you would deploy NDFC on top of that. Or the, I'm sorry, the fabric controller. So, pretty cool stuff there. So, the um, live was good overall. I think it is definitely a useful tool. Um, I took advantage of the the in-person networking that comes with it, where you meet people. I met a bunch of a uh, bunch of y'all, uh, either uh, subscribers or viewers of uh, my YouTube channel, or people that are connected with me on LinkedIn, stuff like that. Uh, it was really cool meeting everybody. Uh, I'm really glad a lot of you reached out that were there, and we were able to sync up. There were a couple that I wasn't able to. Um, meet up with but hopefully maybe next year we'll be able to make that happen um, so um, there was some feedback regarding adding a design section to the Encore and RC workbook so I will start working on that once I get back home so that'll probably be uh, next week sometime when I'll be able to settle down and go do that but uh, Beyond that, I'm going to be done posting anything live-related 
uh, up to this point simply for the fact that live's over with. Um, I hope you guys that were able to attend got out of it what you intended to. Um, I certainly got was able to get a lot out of it. And the cool thing about it is I learned some things that I didn't know about before and I'm looking forward to uh, learning more as we go down the road. So um, it's always good to try to broaden your horizons. So I mean, that's the whole point of working in IT is to keep an open mind and always be learning. So uh, if you don't, if you hadn't noticed, uh, I am in a different hotel room. Uh, we did switch. So I left the company paid for a uh, hotel and now I'm over in uh, a personal hotel. Um, so we're gonna be hanging out here. Uh, did some cool stuff today. Although I don't usually share my personal life on YouTube. I keep that for the technology side of the house. So, um, the good day overall, but, um, I'm going to let you guys go enjoy your, uh, your weekend. For those of you that are traveling back home, safe travels, and I will catch all of you in the next one.